it's another day at home tonight. We need to cut Jack's hair. I usually do that. Um, I started doing it probably like four or five years ago now. His hair is easy because all he does is a buzz cut. Um, so it wasn't really hard for me to learn. I know the first time I tried it, I ended up making him take over, but now I do it pretty well. I have to say so myself. Uh, it just helps us save money and he, his hair grows extremely fast. So he usually was getting haircuts like every two weeks. So that's kind of another reason why like once we met and he asked me to start cutting it, I was willing to. Um, and then he's at the neighbors right now dropping off the cookies that we made yesterday and one of them wants a project done and Jack's pretty handy um, so he's just gonna get some info on that and see what they need help with. What did the neighbors need help with? <laughs> so they asked if I could sand, stain, sand and stain their uh, coffee table. They bought a new chair and they already picked up a coffee table that they liked but now they want the coffee table to match the chair they picked up. So they asked if I could sand and stain, easy for me to say today, uh, sand and stain the coffee table. And then they also asked for me to build kind of a bookshelf slash nightstand next to the chair. And they're going to want it all to be stained kind of a similar color. And then also they lastly want uh, two floating shelves, which I'm in the process of potentially building some floating shelves for us. Uh, haven't gotten to that part yet but there'll be some floating shelves over top of our coffee nook over here. And then also we're in the process of building a bed for our guest room and then also some baby furniture. So add it to my list of <laughs> everything that I need to do. Before April. <laughs> Before April. So, yeah. But I always love to help neighbors out, especially building furniture because it's something I enjoy doing. I love the woodwork and be in the garage. So. This gives me something to do. Ready to go cut that mop of yours? <laughs> What's wrong with my hair? <laughs> how long do you think I've been cutting your hair? Like how, how long, many years? How many years? Well, since 2016 or 2017? I think 2016. Yeah, so what, uh, seven years now? I was Wait. way off. I said three or four. <laughs> Well, I'll just do 2017, so we do 2017, you've been cutting my hair going on seven years now. Mm-hmm. Or six, six or seven years, so, yeah. But there is a few times I've gone to great flips. No, Once. not since, not since you, not since I started, Once. but you had to help me cut your hair the first yeah, time. Yeah, first time I had to help her cut my hair, because she got all scared, so. I ended up cutting my own hair. <laughs> but he also didn't do a full buzz at that point. He I did had a, like did a little flip. Yeah, like a little bang and I got worried when I got to the bang part. Did anybody else do the frosted tips as a kid? <laughs> <laughs> I did that. But yeah, I always have my I always cut my hair because I have a cowlick over here and then like a widow's peak in the back and then another cowlick somewhere back there. So I've always kept my hair short because if not, it grows out. So It grows straight out like static. <laughs> but then your mom gets upset with me because I like his hair so short. I and she's like, why can't you grow it out? <laughs> and then I'm like, it doesn't grow down. It just grows out. <laughs> but yeah, we use the number one. I used to cut it at a number two, but that, it used to grow out way too fast. So now we just use the number one on the hair clippers and do it every two weeks sometimes we push it three or the four but it looks real bad and then I end up wearing a baseball cap all the time so. yeah I prefer to push it to the three or four because I can get a better cut I don't feel like we have the best clippers but, but I also hate also but I old. also hate hate it at the three or four week mark because you just look so like not my hubby <laughs> <laughs> I told Jack goals would be one day is if we could own a house and these are like pipe dreams that has its own hair cutting salon in it so I could just like cut it sweep it in <laughs> wash it nope. we, all, all you get is a garage for now. yeah but I have a garage and a shop back and yeah and then I just wash our clothes like in the laundry Sometimes his hairs, like I'm telling you, because they're like so, 
I don't know, like spiky that they get in your skin. She's making fun of this. <laughs> yes. Like I'll wash our clothes and then like I'll be wearing like the t-shirt again that I like cut them in. And I'll be like, man, what is stabbing me? And I'll be like looking at my shirt. And then I'll see like one of his little hairs was still stuck in it. And it's like, they're like needles. That's why one day, pipe dream, <laughs> <laughs> we could have a hair salon where like hopefully all the hair, even with a shower in there, that'd be awesome. Like a shower in there so you could just get in, all the hair would stay in there. <laughs> Here's a look at the clippers that I use. Hello, I can see my reflection in them. Um, but this is the uh, blade guide that I use. This is uh, what we say is a number one. I'll see if I can zoom in here. Uh, right there, number one. So it's one eighth of an inch or three millimeters. But yeah, this is the kind of blade guard that I used. So then I put that on there. It's a little hard doing it one handed. Oh, I have my lovely assistant, Vanna, here. So, just slips on there. You still can't do it. Still can't do it. <laughs> but yeah, it just slips on there like that. And then I just go after my hair. And then also we have a trimmer that kind of, at the end, trims the neck hairs. And then I also keep toothbrushes in here to wipe off the blade just because my hair is so thick that I have to wipe off the blade when it gets tangled. These clippers also came with a variety of different blades. Um, we just never use them uh, just because I'm not going to have my hair be that long. <laughs> so I just keep them in here. This is the one that I've always wanted to try. It's like 1 16th, but Erica's too scared it'll be too short because that's actually even shorter than what I was using the 1 8th. So I've always wanted to try this, but haven't been able to convince Erica to use this one. And then also this came with uh, scissors. So there's scissors in here. And then lastly, it comes with kind of a cape. We've tried the cape. It's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work either. And then, oh, I forgot. There are combs in here, two different types of combs as well. So that's a look at the clippers that we use to cut my hair. All right, we got our hair cutting clothes on, so let's go get this mop shaved. <laughs> Erica's dream is to have a spot where she can cut my hair in the house, but for now, this is where we go about cutting my hair in the garage. So I just set up a lawn chair <laughs> with our cutting supplies there, and then we just kind of cut my hair. Also, we wanted to point out that we did pick up this Stanley shop vac. I know in one of our last videos we were going to do some woodworking, but our shop vac actually blew up. So we picked up this Stanley shop vac. We picked this up at Sam's Club, and this is a 50 peak horsepower, 6 gallon. The one that we had before this one was actually a heart it's sitting over here. It still runs, but it's super loud. Um, but yeah, this was a 10 gallon capacity with six horsepower. We had this one for almost three years before it kind of pooped on us. So we ended up picking up this one. As you can see, we still haven't opened it. So Erica went to pick up cheese for the pizza and she picked up this Stanley uh, shop vac for me. So that was nice of her. Transfer of the necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Ah! <laughs> Here come time! <laughs> For Halloween, I always regret not cutting him like a funny haircut since I cut it anyway. Or like giving him a mohawk. Maybe one year. <laughs> I love getting my haircut. It's the best. 
It's cleaning time. Cleaning time. I'll try to show you. It's caked in here. I don't know if it's focusing. There we go. Caked in thick hair. I also think it's funny when I cut Jack's hair because like when I get this close, he's got like little blonde hairs, he's got little red hairs. I think it's funny. I have multiple different hair colors. And gray. <laughs> I didn't say gray. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Erica's got her hand on my forehead and I went, Don't! <laughs> oh. Sometimes the clippers struggle to get through my thick hair. <laughs> I got the majority of the length off, so now I just go over it a few times to get any stragglers. Like there's a little straggler. <laughs> That's just to pull it out of my head. And just like that, we're done. Besides, vacuuming it up. <laughs> Got the fresh cut. Every two weeks, that's the way I like to get my hair cut because Erica doesn't like when it grows out. And I always like having a fresh cut and I like the way it feels. And living here in Florida, it's nice because I get hot, so not having the hair is great. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you around like a donut.